Hi, and thanks for joining us for another one of Family Marines videos. My name's Tom. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. If you've been watching any of my videos, I've started every video for the last 15 years the same way. Hi, thanks for joining Family Marine. My name's Tom. <laughs> one of these days I'll change that. I'll come up with something new, right? <laughs> anyway, um, we're back in the shop today. We just got a load of pontoons in from Barletta, and we just got them uncovered, and we're assembling them, and uh, we're going to get them on the show floor. But we're in the shop right now, and I wanted to get some videos done. Um, even though they're kind of jammed in there, it's kind of hard to see. We'll do our best to give you a good view of what this pontoon looks like. Um, this is a model that's called a C24UC. Now, the C represents that it's a C model. Barletta builds three different levels. They build the L class, the E class, and the C class. But I don't want you to think that because I did this, that the C-Class is their entry level. It's, that it's a price sensitive boat. It's not. It's a very high quality boat. Everything that they do to this pontoon is very top notch. It is not a $16,995 pontoon. It's a very high end uh, pontoon. Not as high as the E or the L, of course. If you've seen the Ls, you'll know that, oh man, these are $80,000, $90,000 pontoons and more. Um, but the C-Class is a model that's going to get some of the people that maybe can't quite afford the E or the L into a pontoon, into a very luxurious pontoon that's very, very well built. Now, this is a 24-foot pontoon, and um, it's got a lot of great anemones to it. We ordered it in with the triple tune. Most often, the most popular models from Barletta we're finding people are going with, with triple tunes. And to keep things simple, what we do is we base price the boat with 150 horse and give you the option of moving up to a 200 horse if you want. Um, the 150 horse is an inline four cylinder by Mercury and where the 200 horse is a V6. So you're getting a lot of extra power and torque with that 200 horse, which on a big pontoon is sometimes desirable because often you put 8, 10, 12 people on a pontoon like this. Anyway, I don't want to be able to get the boat up on top of the water and still move along at a really nice clip. So, um, you get a lot of buoyancy, you get a lot of carrying capacity with the triple tune. Um, you also get a ski storage locker and a ski tow bar and a hydraulic steering, under deck sheeting, um, lifting strakes. Um, I'm not sure if you know what lifting strakes are, but if we can get down, I know it's kind of dark in there, but if we can get down a little bit, and you'll notice that on the outside of the inner tube, there's a pair of lifting strakes, one on each side, and then on the inside of the outer tubes, there's a lifting strake on the inside. And of course, what these lifting strakes do is exactly what the name is, they lift. They help get the boat up on top of the water rather than plowing through the water. That gives us much better performance. Now, when I say performance, I'm not only talking about top speed, I'm talking about fuel economy, handling, ride comfort, ability to corner, tilt the boat up on its side, go around the corner like a runabout does. Um, that's what the lifting strakes allow us to do. So they're very useful, and the way that Barletta has designed their lifting strakes is they get the ultimate performance out of the four lifting strakes that they have on this pontoon. So as I said, 25 inch diameter pontoons. Now we ordered this one in in a two-tone. Um, we ordered it with blue and black. And I love this color combination. It just looks so rich. We'll get a better profile picture of it from the side in a minute. But you'll notice that the black and blue with the black out package goes very, very well together. Just an extremely attractive appearance to this pontoon. Um, these are our docking lights, so we have a pair of docking lights, we have electric horn on the side, we have our LED navigation lights, we have pop-up stainless steel cleats, we have stainless steel corner castings, very attractive. So let's kind of go down the side here, I know we're kind of squeezed in by these other pontoons. I want to show you this blue, black, and black combination. It's probably a little better from back here because the lighting might be a little better. But I think you'll agree, very attractive looking pontoon. 
Um, I just love the color combinations of this. You'll notice that also part of the blackout package is the bimini frame is black, the rub rail is black, and the skirting is black. That's all part of the blackout package on these pontoons. Now, as I mentioned, the bimini top. All bar lettuce comes standard with an electric bimini, power bimini. There's a switch on the dash that all you do is hit the button and you can raise and lower this bimini top. You take the boot off, you can hit the button and open the bimini top. It's that easy. So if you have a boat lift with a canopy, so often you have to manually lower your bimini before you bring your boat onto your boat lift. We're here, all you do is hit the button. That's really nice. Now since we're back here towards the stern of the boat, I want you to notice the large swim platform back here. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. I can't tell you how many people have come in and said, oh yeah, I gotta have that large swim platform. Um, if you're putting your cover on and off, if you're filling the boat with gas, if you're getting the kids on the tubes, you're getting your ropes ready and your life jackets ready, people are boarding or debarking the boat, Having this large swim platform, oh, gee, it's just, it's just absolutely wonderful to have. Now, as I mentioned, this boat has a ski tow bar. The ski tow bar is part of the triple tune package. The triple tune is an option on this boat. It actually comes as a two tube as standard. And then you can add the triple tune and the ski storage locker, which we've done. And then, like I said, the ski tow bar comes with it. You, when you, ever you get a triple tune, you also get hydraulic steering and you also get under deck sheeting. So the underneath the deck is covered with sheet metal. That actually increases the top speed by about two miles an hour because you're not having water hitting on those cross members. Telescopic four step deep reaching boarding ladder. Very easy to board the pontoon when you're done swimming. And out the back of the pontoon, we have a couple of stereo speakers. So this boat actually has a six speaker sound system, two of which are out the back of the boat. So if you're at a sandbar and you got your music on, you can still hear it. You don't have to have it cranked up so high that you're bothering other people on the sandbar. You can sit in the back of the pontoon and still listen to your music. Let's take a look at the inside. Okay, so here we are on the inside of the Barletta. Now, as I mentioned, this is a C24UC. Now, the 24 represents the fact that it's a 24-foot pontoon. And uh, I want to make a, a strong point here. Because this boat has the extended swim platform, that is not measured in with the length of the boat. Barletta measures the length of the pontoon, so it has 24-foot pontoons, but the extended swim platform out the back adds two feet, so the length overall, LOA, of this pontoon is actually 26 feet. Now, some companies would call it a 26-footer, but you're only getting 24-foot pontoons, where Barletta is giving us a very realistic measurement in the fact that it has 24-foot pontoons, but is 26 length overall. Now, the U in the model number represents the fact that it has a U uh, ultra lounge in the back. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. The C represents that it has a co-pilot's chair. Now, if it were just a U and not a UC, there would be a bench seat over here. But so often the gals, what we find is the gals are just requiring that they have their own swivel captain's chair. So we most, most, most of the time stock the boat with the uh, co-pilot's chair over here. This way the gal's right next to her husband. They can converse nicely if they go for a quick cruise at night or something. It's just the two of them. They're side by side. She can swivel, you can watch the shoreline, you can swivel it around, you can watch the kids on the tubes, you can recline it and put your feet up. It's just a wonderful seating arrangement. Okay, now this being a 24 foot pontoon, a lot of the extra two feet, compared to a 22 foot that is, is in the bow of the boat. If you'll notice these very large bench seats up front. Now of course, all of the bench seats have storage underneath them. Simply open it up. There's your rotocast seat bases. So tons and tons of storage. I'll get to the floor storage in just a second. Um, this trap door opens up. 
and there is a table. You can flip both of these legs out, slide them to the required height, and now you got a nice little table. That's pretty cool. Set your drinks on there, set your lunch on there, or d'oeuvres or whatever. Simply slide that up, lock it, clip it in, and close it. This is a huge bench seat. Golly, easily seats four adults. Again, storage underneath it. Cup holder. Uh, one thing that the C model is a little short on in the bow bench seats are cup holders. So for that purpose, we have some movable cup holders. I don't have any on display in this boat, but they slip right in here in the crack of the seat and there's a cup holder right there. Some people like to have those. Um, we do have a cup holder down here, up on top of the dash, a couple for the driver over there, a couple for the co-pilot on the left-hand side. Multiple USB jacks throughout the boat. In the front of the boat, there's a dual USB jack there. Over on the co-pilot, there's a USB jack, double. And then back on the ultra lounge, there's another USB jack. In addition to the one that's in the dash that hooks up to the stereo. So if you're charging your smartphone, um, you have multiple points throughout the boat to plug it in to charge it. Oh, I almost forgot the important part of the boat. Pet food tray. <laughs> How many of you bring your dog or your cat with you? Well, most of you bring your dog, but now you got a pet dish for them. Or you can just use it, put your wallet and your car keys, whatever the case may be. Good, nice little area for that. Down in the sole of the boat is a ski storage locker. Now this is much, much larger than what the door indicates. This storage locker comes, oh golly, all the way up to right about where my foot is. You could lay down in there, it's so big. I can't. Maybe you can. On the helm, we have our multi-gauges, so we have a tack, a voltmeter, a fuel gauge, and down here is an hour meter. That's kind of nice to have. Over here we have our speedometer with our trim gauge. We have our Lowrance depth finder. Gives us a nice little shot of the bottom of the lake, structure, things like that. Um, we have our tilt steering wheel, five position tilt steering. Over here we have our Hertz stereo and that is Bluetooth. Many of you have not heard of Hertz but very high-end sound system. On the dash over here we have a cell phone holder, all of our accessory switches. There's the uh, USB with an eighth inch jack for your plug in your phone to that. Control box, key switch, power bimini. Did I mention this boat comes standard with a power electric bimini? All Barlettas have a power electric bimini standard with their boat. So, there's a couple of stereo speakers in the forward portion of the Ultra Lounge, and of course there's a couple of speakers up underneath the bench seats. Now I want to make a point here. Um, you'll notice that Barletta finishes the seat bases with upholstery. Many companies don't. Many companies as raw fire as raw plastic. They might put some swirls or something in there to make it look good, but it's it's raw plastic. I like the finished look. It's contemporary looking, it's designed as black. Um, it goes well with the stripes in the seats. So very attractive looking. Now let's talk about the most important part of the boat. People absolutely love the Ultra Lounge. So let me show you how this works. First of all, we can seat two or three people in the forward-facing bench seat. Now, what I like about this is, let's say that you're out with another couple. So often what happens is two or three people sit up in the front and the captain is sitting back here by himself. And because they're so far away up in the front, he's not really included in the conversation because he's so far away, he can't hear the conversation. Ends up, he feels like a chauffeur, right? So he wants to be involved in the conversation. 
So when you put your guests in this area of the pontoon, now the captain is included in the conversation, the co-pilot, the guests, and so it makes a very nice conversation pit. Very comfortable, I can sit here for hours. In the past, some of the things that we've done is mounted a cockpit table here, mounted another cockpit table up front if you want. So it really makes a nice little area. Now, let's say that you're out with the grandkids during the day and you're pulling lots of kids on the tubes or you're sun tanning or you're laying around reading your book or as my wife has a nook. <laughs> um, what a great area to do that in. You've got a recliner, you can sit here. The, of course the bimini is down right now but normally that would be up. But it makes a very, very nice sunning area. If the kids are being towed on the tubes, you got a great area to view that. How awesome is that? Now, let's say that you wanted a large bed. All you got to do, grab hold of that, swing it down, now you got a great big bed. Sun tanning, heck you can sleep there at night if you wanted, camp out. There's storage, tons and tons of storage underneath there. This particular boat we bought with a 200 horse and the 200s come with power steering. I don't know if I mentioned earlier that a triple tune comes standard with hydraulic steering and then when you upgrade to the 200 horse you get the power assist steering and that's the pump for the power assist steering. But as you can see we have tons of storage room in there. We have more storage room in here. And then we also have storage room under here. Now what's nice about these is you can take this little support member and now you have a forward facing chase lounge. Isn't that nice? Cup holders, there's six cup holders in the ultra lounge makes for an awesome lounging area, very functional. So if you'd like any more information on the Barletta Q24UC, please give us a call at area code 320-222-2628. Check us out on Facebook. We're also, our website is familymarineboats.com. Or even better yet, if you'd like to learn as much as you possibly can about pontoons, go to our YouTube channel Go to YouTube, search Family Marine Wilmer. You'll see our channel. We have over 80 videos. Many of the videos will talk to you about what size boat you need, what size motor you need, what size trailer you need, things like that. There's a lot of learning videos on our YouTube channel. So uh, for today, thanks very much for watching. We appreciate it.